So I'm going to mix, I have one scoop of blue and I'm going to mix three scoops of white. And while I have the white out, I'm also going to just put another scoop kind of by itself to use a little bit later. Kind of a big, generous scoop. You could do two scoops if you wanted. Okay, and then I'm just going to mix my blue and my white to get a sky blue. Let's go ahead and do that. We're going to start with our small flat brush and we're on page 14. And we're going to paint the sky blue all across page 14. You don't have to do it too thick. And you're going to go all the way down, um, about halfway down the page. And notice how I'm going left and right. It's important that you try to go left and right across horizontally across the page um, and not up and down. So you don't want to go up and up and down like that. Okay, so I'm just painting across um, pretty far down about halfway down the page. Um, and I'm trying to go to the edge a little bit here, um, but don't worry about the edge too much. Okay, and just painting all the way across, that's going to be our sky. The next thing I'm gonna do, I want you to just pause and watch me do it, and then you'll have some time to do it. So I'm gonna take my white paint out here and I'm going to take my gift card and see I'm holding it so I'm going to put the smaller at so the smaller side I'm just going to dab it into the paint like that and then if you'll watch I'm going to come about halfway down of where I've painted and I'm going to scrape in so pushing a mountain and so I'm going to go up and I'm going to go down. And if I didn't get a nice edge, I can go back in with my um, edge of mine and put some more on the edge. But make it, um, don't make it just a triangle. You notice how I didn't make it just a triangle? Like it didn't just go up and down. It has. It slowly goes up and then has a nice peak and kind of goes down and over and down. Okay, so that's how you make a mountain with a gift card. Go ahead and try it. And after I've done a few mountains, you can do one or you can do two. I take and I really clean off just with my paper towel um, that gift card so it has a nice edge again and put it somewhere where it won't get the rest of everything dirty or painty. The next thing we're gonna do with our flat, small flat brushes, we're just gonna put some clouds in the sky. And in the past, we've put kind of straight clouds. We practice with straight clouds. So I'm just getting a little bit of white on my brush. And you're welcome to make rounded clouds. So if you wanna make a rounded cloud, you just make kind of an a shallow U. I can make another one here. Maybe I'll make it bigger. And then left and right, left and right, left and right, left and right. Back and forth. I'm scrubbing it in. And it shouldn't be regular, right? Clouds. So I'm kind of going over that left and right, left and right to give um, so it's not so much of a line, it's more of a wiggly line, wiggle, wiggle, like this, okay? And I can do it again here, do it one more time, have another cloud over here. So I'm making my very shallow U, and then wiggling left and right, going up kind of over... making it irregular, kind of wispy, really scrubbing in that white until all the white off of my brush 
is kind of scrubbed in and there's not a big puddle of white. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to take our sky blue that we have here and we want to make it a little bit darker, a darker blue. So I'm just going to take a scoop of blue, I'm going to put it in there. And I also need a scoop of blue that's um, by itself. So since I have my blue out, I'm just going to put it somewhere else. So right over here. So it can, this one's going to just stay blue. And this one we're going to mix in to make it a little bit darker blue. Because we're going to make hills. And the thing about um, a landscape and um, the things that are in the background that are farther away is that they have a blue tint to them because our atmosphere, like our sky, right? Um, the thing, the atmosphere is between our eyes and the actual mountain or hills. And so that's why things in the very background of landscapes tend to be blue or blue tinted. They, they're not just blue sometimes. They can be green or gray, but um, they tend to be blue tinted. So now with my darkened blue here, it was the sky that we added the blue to, I'm going to take and I'm going to um, start close to the edge of the mountain, but down just a little bit. And I'm going to take my, still all with my flat brush, and I'm going to wiggle it, my, wiggle my brush, and kind of go at an angle downwards, down, diagonal, left. And then I can fill all this in with my blue. The white might be a little wet underneath, and that's okay. Um, we can add another layer in a minute or two. But um, then I'm going to do the same thing over here. So I'm going to start over here, and I might wiggle up a little bit, and then go down, and I can wiggle over, and I'm going to go down this way. And these are like the foothills, and I'll just paint all of these in um, with this darkened blue. Let's go ahead and do that. What I'm going to do with my just regular blue that I put on my palette, I'm going to get it just on the edge of my flat brush, just on the very edge. And I'm going to put in the valleys with this dark blue. So if you watch this, I'm going to find where the line kind of dips down. So right here, and I'm going to put my brush there and again, wiggle and go kind of off to the side. We're making like the valley, so we don't want it to be straight down. And then I can just either with the paint on my brush or um, adding a little bit of this light blue, I can blend it in. Okay, so one side of that line is blended in, and that gives the illusion of a valley. So I'm going to do another one. Okay, clean my brush, put in um, just a little bit of blue on the tip of my um, paintbrush. Find an area where this top line of these hills dips down, where there'd be like a natural valley. And I'm going to go down, wiggling my brush and kind of flattening out the line. Then I can take just some lighter blue on my brush and blend that aw away from the line on one side. Um, and the best thing about acrylic paint is if you don't like something, you just paint right over it. So if I didn't like this one right here, paint right over it, kind of let it dry for a few seconds. Clean my brush, come back in and do it again. Okay, so that is the 
beauty of acrylic paint. Getting a little bit on my brush, finding where that dips down, making that wiggly line, getting some lighter blue on my brush and blending away from the line. So this is just practice. That's how you do a valley. Do a couple valleys. The next thing we're gonna do is make some green. So I still have some blue on my palette that I'm gonna use for my green. I'm gonna keep this blue separate. Um, but I just have straight blue right here. So if you don't, put some blue down and then you want to make a, a green and I'm going to put one scoop of blue and two scoops of yellow to make my green. So go ahead and mix your green. Once I have my green, I'm going to take and scoop up a little pile of green, make a new pile. You don't have to make too much just a little bit of green, and I'm gonna scoop up a little bit of this blue that we use for the mountains, and I'm gonna mix them together. It's gonna to kind of make um, a minty green, kind of a dark minty green. If it's not green, add some more green. So here is what my minty green looks like. Here's my green. Here's my mountain blue, here's my minty green. Go ahead and mix that. With my minty green, I'm just going to um, put it in um, towards the bottom of these valleys and I'm just gonna left and right, left and right, um, put it in, making sure not to go in a straight line. So you can see my line goes up and down. These are like, just little hills kind of going back into the distance. They're um, either hills covered with trees or hills covered with meadows. Um, and they're a little bit this minty color because again, they're so far away that they have this, um, they have the blue mixed in with them because that's the atmosphere becoming between us and um, the hill. And then I'm just going to bring that minty green down a little bit. Um, I didn't mix very much on purpose, but just bring that minty green down um, and make sure I get good coverage. Um, so that's down about an inch from the edge there. You can bring it down. It really, it doesn't matter how far you bring it down, but bringing it down, bringing this minty green down more is better than less. Okay. So go ahead and bring that down pretty far. I used all of my minty green. So with my clean brush, I'm cleaning it off, getting it really clean squeezing all the water out of it. I'm gonna take my green that I have and I'm gonna start putting in a meadow. Okay, I'm not gonna go at the top, I'm gonna to go down here and I just remember a meadow is just pounce, 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 pounce with this green. I'm just gonna pounce and I can, I don't have to go in a straight line. See how I'm going in a straight line? You don't wanna do that. So you kinda of wanna go up in certain areas and go down and you're gonna pounce and you're gonna make a big meadow. Pounce, pounce, pounce. And with a clean brush, after I put in my meadow and kind of cover all that, I'm just gonna take a little bit of yellow on my brush. Just gonna dot it in different places in the meadow to create some highlights. And that's, that's our meadow, just lots of Little yellow dots. The yellow should go more towards the bottom and you should keep up here um, free of yellow. So I'm actually gonna just scoop some yellow on my palette and then go in and pounce or dot all over this meadow. And that's what we're gonna do today.